let us determine the reciprocal lattice associated with a face centered cubic lattice. So here what is shown is a conventional unit cell of a face centered cubic lattice. It has lattice points at the eight corners as well as at the six face centers of the cell. Since it has lattice points at face centers as well, it is a non-primitive unit cell. A primitive unit cell has lattice points only at the corners. And since it is a non-primitive unit cell, it is unsuitable for the determination of reciprocal lattice. So we have to find, we have to first find the primitive unit cell and the associated basis vectors for this lattice. This exercise we have already done in another video, the link for which has been provided in the description below. So these vectors are the three vectors A1, A2 and A3 shown in red here. These are the vectors from the origin to the face centers of the conventional unit cell. In terms of the three unit vectors along the edges of the conventional unit cell E1, E2 and E3, these three vectors can be conveniently represented as A1 as A by 2 E2 plus E3, A2 as A by 2 E1 plus E3 and A3 as A by 2 E1 plus E2. These are nice and symmetric as you can see that in A1 E1 is missing in A2, E2 is missing and in A3, E3 is missing. Also, if we complete the unit cell and determine its volume, we find that this primitive unit cell has a volume which is just one fourth of the volume of the conventional unit cell, the original Q. So the primitive unit cell volume Vp is A cube by four. So these are the ingredients which, which is required for the construction of the reciprocal lattice vectors. So these are the primitive basis vectors and the volume of the unit cell and the definition of the reciprocal basis vectors are A1 star as A2 cross A3 by Vp and similar definitions for A2 star and A3 star. In these definitions, note that A1, A2 and A3 are primitive vectors of the given lattice. So that was the need to find out the primitive vectors of the FCC lattice, which we are interested in here. So we now have the three basis vectors of the primitive vector, uh, lattice of the FCC and the unit cell volume and we have the definition of the reciprocal lattice vector. All we have to do now is to substitute these values in this formula to calculate A1 star. So we do this here, one by Vp is four by A cube and we substitute for A2 and A3 in this cross product. Pause the video here, take your time, a minute or two to write this out and solve. Once you do that, you will find that it's a very, very simple expression, one by A minus E1 plus E2 plus E3. So A1 star turns out to be one by A minus E1 plus E2 plus E3. Similar calculations if you do for A2 star and A3 star, you will find that A2 star is one by A E1 minus E2 plus E3 and A3 star is 1 by A E1 plus E2 minus E3. Again, these are very nice and symmetric expression and you can see that in A1 star E1 is negative, in A2 star E2 is negative and in A3 star E3 is negative. So we have already constructed the reciprocal basis vector of the FCC lattice. The question now is, what is the lattice which will be generated if we 
use this basis vector to generate our lattice. By addition of these vectors and the multiples of these vectors, we will be able to construct the lattice. What that lattice looks like? To understand that, we have to look at a related lattice that is the body-centered cubic lattice. Now, the primitive unit cell vectors of a body-centered cubic lattice. The primitive unit cell is shown in the red here, the conventional unit cell in the black, and the primitive unit cell basis vector can be shown to be A1 as A by 2 minus E1 plus E2 plus E3 and similar expressions for A2 and A3. This exercise also we have done in another video, the link for which has been provided below. Now you can see that there is a nice comparison between the primitive vectors of a BCC lattice and the reciprocal basis vectors of the FCC lattice. In fact, the combinations of E1, E2, E3 is the same in the two expressions. only the scale factor is different. So here it's a by 2, here it's 1 by a. So this means that the reciprocal basis vectors of an FCC lattice are actually parallel to the primitive basis vectors of a BCC lattice. And if we take this comparison a little further, so we can write a1 star as half 2 by a times minus e1 plus e2 plus e3 and if we define 2 by a as a star then we can write this as a star by 2 minus e1 plus e2 plus e3. Now the two expression a1 and a1 star are very com comparable as you can see that in a1 it is a by 2 times this combination of unit vectors whereas in a1 star it is a star by 2 with the same combination of unit vectors. Now we know that this a1 on the left hand side is actually representing a BCC lattice of lattice parameter a. So this means this a1 star belongs to a BCC lattice of lattice parameter A star where A star is 2 by A. This completes our interpretation. So we conclude that if the real lattice is an FCC lattice of lattice parameter A, its corresponding reciprocal lattice is a BCC lattice of lattice parameter 2 by A. Thank you.